Hey, what's up YouTubers out there? So today, we will be discussing about how to set up this Multi-FX, the Boss GT3 using the GT3 FX floorboard app, uh, software in our computer. So without further ado, let's do this. So to start the uh, setup, before we connect this to our computer, you have to make sure you have this type of cable, which is the uh, uh, MIDI converter to USB, which uses a standard USB that you can plug in on your computer. The connection is just easy as plugging it, but I found out that you have to plug this cable, which is I already labeled it as the out and the in. As you can see on the MIDI in port and the MIDI out, uh, you have to plug it the opposite side or the opposite way. So if this is in, so it should be, the out like this one and this is the in and this is the out so you have to plug it exactly the same way I did because at first I thought you should be connecting it through uh, this port by the MIDI in and the MIDI out so you have to check the cable first if there's a label here that's why I put a tape on it and wrote the uh, label in and out to make sure I know which cable comes in so you have to check your cables um, the one that I bought is it has a uh, indicator light right here that uh, shows if there's a transmission between or a transfer between the pedal and the computer. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean later on. Uh, so we haven't plugged the effects yet to our power source or the adapter. I wanna let you guys see first how I connected my MIDI cable from the back of this pedal. So right now we're gonna try and see if we can connect this to our computer and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna show up and we will be using the uh, GT3 FX floorboard that I installed on my computer that's why I was able to put new patches in here and save the old patches to my computer as a backup so you need to make sure you do that first before you install any patches on your pedal so I'll be back and I'm gonna show you how to set it up on the computer okay so right now I already have the power uh, cord plugged in and I already connected the MIDI cable to my laptop as you can see I suggest do not use a hub to do this make sure your uh, the port or the I mean the uh, USB connection should be directly connected to your laptop or your desktop computer so that there won't be any problems with the uh, communication between your computer and the uh, device with the use of this converter or this uh, MIDI converter as you can see while it's plugged in you can see there's a red light on it to indicate that it receives power from this computer I will show you how to get to the MIDI option first before you could connect it to your or before you could communicate this pedal to your computer using the GT3 FX floorboard so wait for it so all you have to do is press the utility four times and you're gonna see MIDI there and then after that you press on this parameter arrow to the right uh, 10 clicks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you're gonna get to this MIDI bulk load waiting it means the pedal is now waiting for transfer or uh, any type of file or patches from the computer or vice versa. So right now I'm gonna go to my computer and I will show you exactly what we will use or the program we will use in order for us to put in patches. Okay guys, I'm back right now and I'm on my computer. So here I will be showing you how we will be able to use the FX floorboard for our GT3 in order for us to have, the, uh, have patches transferred and uh, have the patches from the pedal itself to be backed up on our computer. So I have here the floorboard already open on my computer so before anything else let's try to check first for the MIDI connection if it's ready to receive and transfer patches or data all we need to do first is click on the tools and then click on preference and on this window you have to click on the MIDI first okay so the first time you'll be using this one will show here under MIDI in and MIDI out no MIDI devices or no MIDI device so it means that if you see that your connection from your board or your pedal board at the back make sure to double check that make sure it's plugged in just like I showed you on the first part of the video you might have plugged the, uh, the wrong cable to the port and check also the converter itself there should be a light on it so there should be a red light so once it's done just go back again to this page right here click on the drop down if you see USB MIDI just select that same thing on the other one and once you're done go to the Windows tab so you're gonna do this only once just put a check mark on the restore window and restore side panel and then click ok double check the pedal make sure it's turned on and make sure that you are under the mini bulk load uh, utilities so just go back to utilities again and 
press it four times. One, two, three, four. You're gonna see MIDI. And after that, you press on the parameter here 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have to see this first. You have to make sure you see this. So once I click bulk mode, so this is the switch to turn on and turn off the communication between the software. You're gonna see this green light and also check on the converter. You're gonna see a blue blinking light on it. And afterwards, it's gonna turn into red because it's already have a solid communication. And, and on the bulk mode, it's already have a green light. So it means that your board is now ready to receive and send patches. We're not gonna do some patches yet. You're gonna need to back up your patches first. To do a backup, all you got to do is just click on file and then click on save bulk GT3 patches to file. Starts from the user one to one up to the user 35 to 4. So just click on start. So once it's done, it's gonna open up another window. It's gonna ask you to name a file name for that patch. And once you're done, just click, uh, just close it out. So I'm gonna check now the patches that is pre-installed with this software. So click on file, load bulk patch file to GD3. So it's gonna load out the same page. You just have to click on this init patches. So for example, uh, you wanna use this patch right here, clean. Just click on open okay this window will appear so it's going to ask you which bank would you like to have this patch be transferred to your pedal so right now it's showing user one of bank one and you can select a different location a different bank whatever you want to put it in order for this to be transferred just click on start uh you're going to see once you click that so once it's done go back to your uh, pedal it's going to be under the midi bulk load uh status so in order to get out of it Okay, so here's what you're gonna do once you already have the patch transferred to your multi-effects. So in order for you to get out of it, so you have to press on the exit here. If you want to use your uh, backup files or your backup patches, again, back to your floorboard. Let's say for example, you wiped out, you wiped out your pedal board's programs or you have reset it or changed the batteries. So everything has been wiped out and it's already been uh, put back to its factory reset uh, presets. So you want to get some of the uh, patches that you have before uh, transferred to your multi-effects. So go back again to floorboard, click on the file, and then uh, click on load bulk patches, file on GT3. So for example, if this uh, specific window shows up again, but unfortunately you don't have the backup file for the old patches that you have, right? So you have to look for it. Uh, mine is under downloads. I'm just gonna show you exactly wh uh, how you can do it, how you do it. So go to, I'm gonna go to my folder where I already have it saved. I'm gonna show, I'll let you see it. Okay, I have some new patch. I have some backup patches right here. There are some, there are three of them. Only two of them because this other one was been pre-installed on the pedal board before and I just made a backup. So if in any case I want to use that patches from the previous owner of this pedal, I can use it. So right now I have here my backup last uh, February 17. Okay, so let's say for example I got I got tired of the patches that I already have here. And some of them uh, I don't want to save a few of them, but I want to replace all of them. So I'm just gonna go back to the same folder where I have my previous or my, where I had my last backup. Just click on it and click on open and same window will appear. So since the software recognizes that the patches that I'm using right now is for my backup, so it's already automatically populated. It's gonna be uh, set to user one of bank one up to the finish for user 35 to four. So it means all of the things that I have here in my pedal will be wiped out and be replaced by the, my backup patches that I had before. All right, so again, I'm just gonna, if you, if you can see as well on the starting, uh, starting from the number one, the clean will be replaced up to the last one. So I'm just gonna click on start and it's gonna do the transfer again. And it's gonna wipe out everything and just gonna go to replace it with the new patches. Okay, so that's how you do a patch transfer to your pedal board. So I hope this video helps you and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if this helps you a lot. 
in order for me to make some videos like this one if you're still not a subscriber please subscribe and always click on the bell icon if in any case you will be notified in my channel for any updates about a new video all right so uh again stay safe and i will see you on my next one peace out